Good evening guys, today I'll be teaching you how to get your internet and MMS running on your BlackBerry services for H2O. Okay, so what I'm going to need you guys to do is actually go into your into your BlackBerry and locate the service books. Okay, just a quick tip on how to do that is just by going into uh, menu and options, advanced options and look for service book. Right when you're on service book, service book, what I want you to do is go into, I want you to press Alt, just leave it pressed down, and I want you to type these words, S B E B. And right after you do get that, you are going to be, you are going to be seeing something that says S B Legacy restore enabled so just press ok once you get that and exit out okay the next thing is going you're going to do is actually connect your your us your phone to your to your computer with a usb okay now if you guys still don't know how to do the locate the service book if you guys stay tuned for the second part of this video I will be teaching you on how to do so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and exit out. And the next thing we're going to do is just download the the desktop manager for the Blackberry. Okay, and I'm gonna teach you real quick on how to do so. And the first thing we'll be going going to do is going into the Blackberry website. Okay, so that's that. That's an actual look on on how the actual Blackberry website looks like. And when you guys go there just go to apps and software and just wait till that loads and and hit desktop manager desktop software I'm sorry okay and just select the computer you're using and just follow the prompts and uh, download it today just hit no and download and right after you hit download you are going to be getting this this pop-up just hit save file just wait till your download window comes up it should look something like this and I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that out because I do have this already installed in my computer Go ahead and minimize it, and right after you download it, you are going to be getting something like this. Okay, so just go ahead and double click it and open that up. And you guys should be getting something like this. Okay, I'm canceling that out. As you guys can see, I already have the Blackberry Desktop Manager here, so just cancel that out if you do have it. If not, just follow the prompt and finish the installation. It's pretty self-explanatory. So just wait for a few seconds until that. See, here's the error message because I do have this. Okay, so just I'm gonna cancel that out. Okay, so once you finish the installation, just open up the BlackBerry desktop software. And I'll go ahead and open it up. And here it is. Okay, by now you guys should have the H2O service book. It should look something like this. I want <clears throat> I want to say something like this. Alright. So once you do have it, just, uh, just hit device, hit restore, and you want to locate what you have the H2O service book. Okay? So if you guys can't find it, just hit browse and look for it. Now, you guys have to make sure that you have this file right here, the service book, and a folder that looks like this. So, we're going to create a folder. You want to hit, you're going to right click it, and you should be getting this. And it's folder, you're going to name it Blackberry. And inside that folder, you're going to create a new one. And you're going to create another one that says backup. 
and just move that file inside where it says backup. We're just doing this just so the desktop software recognizes the the service book. So we go ahead and exit out and just finish locating where you have it. And just once you have it, you should it should show up right here. It says file name and restore the backup file. And just hit ret restore. You should be getting something like that. Just press OK and, and just finish this. Just wait till that finishes up. Okay, so just close that out. Okay, so the next thing I will be showing you is going to be on the second part of this video, which would be on your BlackBerry uh, device itself. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video and stay tuned for the next one.